Hello everyone, this is the pre-market report video for today 18th March 2024 for the Indian stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. In the last pre-market video, we discussed about the very high US wholesale inflation data which did made the US market to close negative on Thursday night itself. In addition, on Friday early morning Indian time, this made the US 2 year bond yield to increase from 4.5% to above 4.7%. As a result, this affected the whole global momentum, hence on our Indian market as well. Our regular viewers know this and we discussed multiple times last Friday was FITSE rebalancing and we did discuss which stock will get how much of money, all those details already. Similar to that, last Friday, our Bombay stock exchange BSE announced their rebalancing which is going to be effective from today. I mean, simply it's just Sensex Rejig. Geo Financial Service is the only new stock that is going to be added into the BSE large cap from today onwards. Other than that, they did said that they altered some weightage factors like if required, please pause and have a look. These are the stocks such as Maruti Suzuki, Airtel, ITC and major banking stocks expect to receive additional fund inflow. On the contrary, l and Reliance and Infosys expect to have fund outflow. And if you see the top 5 nifty negative contributors, those 3 of them were the stocks which BSE reduced their weightage. So it looks like BSE announcement did driven the market. Anyway, last Friday was just an announcement. Today is an actual rebalancing. Institution wise, despite the MSA rebalancing fund inflow of near 13,000 crore rupees, FII net bought shares only for near 850 crore rupees, whereas DII net sold for approximately 680 crore rupees. So these were the quick takeaway from Indian market on last Friday. Let's see what happened in US market. As I already said, there was a sudden increase in two-year bond yield value before the US market opening. And for the week, it was the largest jump in the last two months. In addition, US industrial output increased more than expected. And the Michigan consumer sentiment, future inflation expectation, all comes as against what market wanted. Because of all these, not for March month, not for May month, but for the June month, the chance of reducing rate cut dropped below 60% for the first time this year. All these made the US market to open negative and close negative. Dow Jones down by 0.49%, S&P funded decreased 0.65% and because of the treasury yield, Nasdaq was the one that got most affected which down near 1%. However, US VIX haven't changed much, it's still around 14.5. Then coming to oil, it haven't changed much. At the time of this video, Brent crude closed at around 85 US dollars per barrel and WTI crude trading around 81 US dollars per barrel. Regarding Indian ADR, because of US market negative rejig all pushed down Infosys stock down to over 2%. But still, the other IT stock Wipro managed to close positive. Regarding banks, both ICC Bank and HDFC Bank ADR marginally down. Here, if we calculate the year-to-date arbitrage, all four stocks now kind of balanced out, so indicating flat or fresh trade in Indian market. Tomorrow, I will calculate the stock face value to price arbitrage, so we can evaluate what ADR in which position and whether any gained dollar premium or not kind of. For now, the takeaway is, other than Infosys, it's flat, but for Infosys, it's flat to negative. Then about GIF Nifty, on Saturday early morning, it closed at 22,048, equating it with our spot market for now, it's indicating gap down opening of 40 to 60 points. So these were the things happened in live markets. Now let's discuss the new info that might potentially impact today. First of all, 45 mutual fund released their stress test results. All the complete stress test results were uploaded in the AMFI, the Association of Mutual Fund websites. If anyone invested in any mutual fund, please go and have a look at your respective mutual fund and what's your mutual fund value kind of. Here, for the 25% liquidity reduction results time stress test, there is no perfect answer. 
less the number of days then better the fund and the money risk is less as per sebi's guidance the upper threshold for small cap it has to be 30 days and for mid cap it has to be 17 days if required please pause and have a look these were the some of the top mutual fund stress test results anyway so far more than 200 small cap stocks dropped somewhere between 10 to 50 percent and not sure how long this is going to affect so please be cautious in small mid cap stocks second friday night indian government increased the windfall tax on petroleum product from 4600 rupees per ton to 4900 rupees per ton so we can expect those stocks will be in focus today third tcs won a multi million dollar new project from a norway company called nordex here they haven't announced the exact details of the total project's worth so we can expect tcs will be on focus as well as a summary global momentum is not good us market closed negative and gift nifty indicating the gap down opening and also this wednesday us fed fomc meeting the most probable expected outcome of that to pause the interest rate but as usual at present market kind of wants the answer about when they are going to start the rate cut so still that time market will have some related nervousness which might cause both profit booking as well as short covering on the definite positive side but for some reason indian adr was not as that negative same as us market or gift nifty moving on as per stock open interest pfc mrf biocon ongc ntpc bel apollo tires and icic bank got an increase in open interest along with a negative close indicates the short build up on the other hand hindustan copper adani ports ubl canara bank page industries hdfc amc and colgate palm olive got an increase in open interest with a positive price close indicating the long build up about the things to look out today early morning before our market opening lot of china related macros such as retail sales industrial production growth are scheduled to release at present one of the reason for negative global momentum is this demand concern in china if any of this macro is positive then that will improve the global momentum at least for our metal stocks not much during the market hours but after the market hours at 3:30 pm europe's february consumer inflation and for us nvidia's developer conference in the night are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today coming to technical last friday nifty opened 80 points gap down and extended the loss as the day progressed to the day slow 21931 However in the second half it recovered some and managed to move above 22000 thus on the daily chart nifty formed a bearish spinning top candle which we know it's an indecisive candle but if we combine to thursday one then together it formed an engulfing bearish candlestick pattern and if we combine the wednesday long candle then the candle and the volatility is reducing and becoming small which means we can expect a breakout this week and 21900 to 22000 seems to be a good support which coincides with 50 day moving average zone a decisive drop below 21900 could lead to a sharp decline in nifty on the upside resistance is in the range of 22200 to 22250 in case of bank nifty it opened 220 points gap down and it was very volatile between 46300 to 46800 range finally it closed at below 46600 thus on the daily chart bank nifty formed a doji candle which indicates indecisiveness in the market immediate resistance for bank nifty is at 47000 which coincides with 20 day moving average and a decisive break above this level can propel the bank nifty towards the 47500 mark On the flip side the lower end support is at 46500 to 46300 where buyers are currently attempting to defend however a fall below this level may intensify the selling pressure on the options front the maximum call option open interest was at 23000 strike followed by 22500 and 22000 strike with meaningful new call option writing at 22000 strike followed by 22100 and 22300 strike whereas on the put side the maximum open interest was at 21000 strike followed by 22000 and 21800 strike 
with the new put option writing at 21000 strike followed by 21,800 and 21,200 strike. Thus, from the options data, it's indicating that 22,300 to 22,500 is expected to be the key resistance area for the short term with support at 21,800 mark. So, that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. So, it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.